what is the best way to respond to someone who is mistreating you, especially if in the course of their mistreatment, they are violating the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the teachings of Islam. How do you deal with someone like that? Well, Umar radiallahu anhu has a piece of advice for this. He says, مَا عَقَبْتَ مَنْ عَصَى اللَّهَ فِيكَ بِمِثْلِ أَن تُطِيعَ اللَّهَ فِيهِ There is no better way to retaliate to someone who is disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in regards to your rights than to continue to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in regards to him. Someone is using the wrong language, for example. They're insulting. Maybe they're backbiting. They're slandering. They're doing all kinds of inappropriate things. The best way to retaliate is to make sure that you are not violating any commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in relation to that person. So if someone is backbiting us, we don't backbite them in return. If someone is insulting us, we don't insult them in return. If somebody is coming down to a very low level, we don't stoop to that level in order to cope with that person or deal with that person. So what happens here? A few things will happen. One is, like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, idfa' billati hiya ahsan. Respond in the way that is better or that is the best. And one of the outcomes of that is فَإِذَا الَّذِي بَيْنَكَ وَبَيْنَهُ عَدَاوَةٌ كَأَنَّهُ وَلِيٌّ حَمِيمٌ The one that has an enmity with you, there is an enmity between you today, tomorrow he could end up being your best friend. He could end up being a very close ally. Someone came to Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu and said, I have a neighbor. Inna li jaran yu'dhini wa yashtumuni wa yudayyiku alayya. This person causes me inconvenience. They, they use foul language with me. They make my life difficult for me. So he says, In huwa asa Allah hafiq. If this person is breaking the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in regards to you, then you should respond by making sure you fulfill the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when it comes to him. So one of the outcomes is that that relationship will mend and things will come together and a friendship will form. And the other outcome is this person will continue to fall in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But you, because you're maintaining the commands of Allah, you will continue to rise in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah azza wa jal will give you his assistance and help against that person and this person cannot succeed and they will have to suffer the consequences of whatever it is that they're doing and on top of that they will not be able to hurt you. <laughs>